The experience has been very educational during uh, my time here at the fellowship. I've learned so much more than I ever thought I even wanted to know about healthcare and how healthcare works, how healthcare doesn't work, um, how business transactions work, you know, that even though you have devices on the market that do work, people don't buy them. During this fellowship, we've had an educational experience that has been um, phenomenal, I guess, would be a good word for it, is we've had a, basically a mini MBA, a mini medical school, mini engineering school, mini regulatory school. So this is my first time really uh, getting to know uh, true academians in a sense that, uh, you know, the researchers, the, the medical professionals, the clinicians, the engineers, and the, and the scientists who really uh, probe uh, issues and problems in a deeper context. The fellowship has really given me a set of skills that I'm going to be able to take back to the hospital setting in my everyday practice. And we've met a lot of entrepreneurs, and I wasn't sure if that was something I'd be interested in doing myself, but now I think through meeting these people, um, that have started their own companies, that that is something I would like to do myself. We don't just go and, and create or uh, come up with a solution right away and then try to find a, um, a need and a market for it. We understand and, and learn about the basic fundamentals and what we call art and science of innovation. The next phase is pure observation phase where we, you know, as, a, as an MBA person, what do I know about surgery? But I do have a very fresh set of eyes. Taking our observations and conversations, we can hopefully come up with unmet needs that we can then fill. Is this really a problem? Is it just a problem in OR7, or is it a problem in every OR around the world? Then we, uh, you know, in a what we call wisdom of crowd method, we actually narrow it down to the top five or, or ten. And that's where we are now. We're taking those ideas and we're transforming them into a product. So while the five of us all come from different backgrounds and different disciplines, we each share the same passion of impacting the medical field. I'm walking in here every day where there's somebody with a business background and a, a science background and a, a medical background. It's really been great. It's both interesting and challenging working with people from really different backgrounds. Together we can come up with answers to um, to problems in the healthcare field, something I'm very, very passionate about. We've spent countless hours with each other and, and that passion of making some, some great thing in the end, some great device in the end is really what helps us all work together and get along together really well. Uh, if possible, uh, within my abilities, I would like to stay uh, within the medical industry. Now, um, given the economy, nobody knows how uh, everything's gonna evolve, uh, but I do uh, like the fact that uh, if I can stay within the innovation, uh, coupled with entrepreneurship within the medical community or medical industry, I think that will be the best ideal situation for me. I've met a lot of successful entrepreneurs and that's been very encouraging to see that it's a really exciting field to get into. And if you know what you're doing, it makes it a lot easier. I grew up doing math and science and going to engineering classes and succeeding in that and not really knowing what everything engineering could be. Um, a lot of it is beams and things like that is what, what you focus on and you don't realize that that can apply to the medical field. And once you realize that, it, it's a really powerful tool that hopefully we get to make a big impact. There is a lot more out there besides medicine that can be adapted in medicine and make it such a great field for the patient and for the practitioner. Yeah, it's been really great to meet people from across campus and we have met a lot of them. We've met a lot of engineers and we've met a lot of doctors and a lot of nurses and we've had a lot of interactions with the business school as well. Every door uh, at U of M whether it's in the engineering school, in the business school, in the health system, is open for us. We can email anybody, we can talk to anybody, and so far they've all been very receptive to what we're doing, what we're about. That has been the most amazing part of this fellowship, the open doors and the ability to go to the heart and core of knowledge. 
people knowledge, not just Wikipedia, not just Google, the actual person whose papers you're reading, you can talk to them, and that's been great. There are so many different specialties and uh, scientists and engineers and academians and business professionals here. I believe that this truly is a microcosm of the world. Uh, you look at every nationalities, uh, ethnic backgrounds, are all present in uh, Ann Arbor area. So the, the ingredients are here. And, and the first thing we need to do is change our culture and mindset that it can happen in a small town like this in Ann Arbor, that, that innovation can start. No doubt that this experience, this one year in this fellowship is going to resonate throughout the rest of my career, uh, whatever direction it happens to go. I really want to continue to pursue medical device design, um, medical device invention, innovation, and I now feel so much more prepared to go and do that. And because of the multidisciplinary team, I, I know that I have skills now that other students may be coming right out of a university or out of a major corporation where they don't even know who's sitting next to them, let alone how to talk to somebody down the hall. Um, I have these skills now that I, I truly cherish because of the fellowship. Thank you.